The holiday season is here. Before you hit the road to see family and friends, remember to change your oil at your local Pep Boys. All through November, Pep Boys is offering 25% off any oil change service. Pep Boys offers expert auto service that makes car care simple and convenient with the pros you can trust to get you back on the road safely. Make an appointment at PepBoys.com. Offer valid with coupon through November 30th. Additional fees and restrictions may apply. Visit PepBoys.com for coupon. K360 Ray. Hello, J360 Legion, and welcome to the J360 Mini Bite. I'm your host, J.M. Brady. Let's get into it. What's going on, (laughs) y'all? I'm finally here. It's a new week and new motivation, and of course, a lot to talk about. Now, the thing about it is, since this is a 15-minute show, where the hell have I been for the last few hours, right? Well... I can clearly tell you that um, I'm busy with new developments. In case you're wondering, um, the J360 Productions website is actually active right now. Managed to get 70 followers out of the deal. And you all can actually go on there to see all the content in one spot. I know a lot of, I noticed a lot of y'all have been telling me about that. Like, hey, Jay, how do we keep up with you exactly? Well, you know, I always had a hub here, so I started working on it. Because, you know, honestly, sometimes I just think that the radio shows are just too good for YouTube. (laughs) And I think YouTube can't really handle when you go as far into uh, different topics like I usually do. Especially when it comes to things that need to be said. Because I don't know what the hell those people over there are doing with it. But then again, everything is ran on algorithms. So, you know, nine times out of ten... If you're really telling the truth and you're hitting them in the point where, honestly, they're not making any changes, they will go about and try to censor your content. Does that mean I'll stop doing what I do? Nah, not by a long shot. Just gonna have to work that much harder to get the voice out. And truth be told, I I, I hate censorship of that kind. You know what I'm saying? It's different when it's somebody that's going all out being a complete lout and screwing things up. But if you have to say what you need to say, you need to say it. You know what I mean? And here I am doing the show at midnight, and hey, I don't mind it because all my stuff that I told you about that was coming in, it finally came. So, (laughs) working on some of my goals here, you know, a few lifestyle changes a day, you know, just results are starting to come in. And at the end of the day, I really don't need to be at that day job anymore. Not really. So, just making a few changes here and there. Not to mention, you know, I'm still going to be doing J360 Productions. I'm never giving that up. (laughs) I've I've come too far to put that stuff on a hook. You know what I'm saying? And I remember, too, because there is... you, You ever have this moment, right? Where, like, say, like, you're motivated. And you're doing what you need to do. And you know that your goal is hitting, but it's not hitting as hard as you'd like it to. And then all of a sudden, like, imposter syndrome tries to settle in. They seem like you think, oh, what the hell am I doing? Maybe I should just go ahead and say, uh, it's not really a stable ride like I want it to be. But that's not true. It actually has been. It's been pretty awesome, you know, running an independent production company. In addition to uh, working, in addition to fighting for my other goals, making changes here and there, that's what it's supposed to be. It's an adventure. It's not an all-in-one thing. It's all about just climbing and reaching and being better than what you were the previous day. I still got a lot of changes to make. You know, for myself, that is. I don't want to say I'm all here, because I'd rather the results tell you. I mean... You're going to see plenty of them on J360 TV, which is growing in its own way. And truth be told, I'm excited to see what happens from year on out. See, a lot of people are sitting there and they're throwing up the meme of 2020 imploding or like their ideas getting dashed because of 2020. Well, here's the beautiful part about that, y'all. Remember when, now I don't know how to tell you all this, but life's not fair. Life doesn't give a damn. 
Life doesn't owe you anything. It's about what you do with it. And you sit there and you complain about how things... Now, I'm not going to lie to you. These past six months have been... Well, I really shouldn't say past six months, right? I mean, we're still working on the sixth one. But, you know, figure that we got a week and two days or so far. You know what I'm saying? You might as well just go ahead and say it's a wrap with June, but yeah, <laughs> I get it. I mean, it hasn't been a bit of roses for me either, but I'll, I'll tell you this much. Like, when I achieved what I achieved this year, and then I really thought about it, like, there were times where, you know, you've seen it, the shows ran late, and then I overslept here, and then in some cases I was wondering where I was coming or going or not, because usually fall asleep here, then I have to go to the day job, then I have to go ahead and prepare the the shows, and then I have to fix up all the branding and all, hey, one way or another, this CEO life, you know, makes you wonder exactly where you stand, and then one day I took a little pause, looked at everything, and everything looked wonderful, man, one way or another, things are actually clicking, and they're coming together like they should, and I like it. You know what I'm saying? Like, huh. Okay. Even doing the show right now, like I have midnight motivation. You know? And I ain't mad at it. There are times where it can get pretty frustrating. And then there are times where, you know, like I said, I'm human too. I have those frail abilities. Like there are times where now it doesn't hit me as hard as say it would hit other people. Because I, you know, I always keep going anyway. And I know I still have everything to gain and nothing to lose. And that's how you should feel about it sometimes. But I mean, if it really starts to settle in and you just need a day to yourself, I mean, go ahead, take that day. Like, I always have that guarantee, like, if it doesn't land on the day that it's supposed to land, it's going to land on the day after. Because I still owe you guys that much of content. You know, something that's viable, something to help push you in addition to push me. And that's how it should be between, all, you know, a host and his audience. And then, like, when I look at the previous episodes, and I'll be honest with you, the algorithms, I don't know what it is. Sure, they'll say Black Lives Matter on one side, but on the other side, they'll do what they can to censor stuff that they believe is going to disrupt them in some way. And being the polarizing figure I am... I just look at it, and I'm like, oh, so you're going to censor me, but you're going to let anybody else say what they want to say. Or you're going to let some jerk out there decide to go ahead on their dumbass logic, but you won't allow me to tell the truth, right? See, I used to go about that. Do I feel guilty about those previous episodes? Hell no. I would do it again. Like, it, and it's amazing, too, because I don't know what the hell's going on with Twitter. Maybe I'm in Twitter jail or something like that. But I see, like, old stuff still, like, on my feed. You know what I mean? Like, so, some of my peers have l- released the episode. I mean, it was a good episode. Granted, it's still trending. But I'm sitting there looking at it. And I'm like, why the hell is this still stuck on my page, you know? And at the same time, sh- there's nothing going on on this side of the country that I can't see anything else pop up. So, I don't know what's happening with it. Not my site, not my problem, really, but it's uh, at the same time, it's like, yeah, huh, black voices matter, eh, friggin' Twitter, anyway, but hey, that's why I got my own website in the first place, so if any of y'all are passing the link around and, you know, getting the information out there, I really appreciate you, and I'm not giving up my journey just because they keep coming up with ways to try to silence all of us, they can't silence Any of us, really. Especially when you know how to play the game like I do. I just, you know, I just try to play it honestly. And I guess that's part of my problem, right? (laughs) Oh, man. By the way, I was looking at the information for the PlayStation 5, and while I'm excited about it, I've also seen, like, Spider-Man Miles Morales really sold me. And then, of course, you know, the Avengers game is going on there, too. And as a free upgrade, you know, for next gen, because it's really supposed to be for current gen. But, you know, it's just not enough for me to buy it this year. You know what I'm saying? 
as much as I'd like to, I just also realize about priorities and wants and needs. Hell, I'm trying to move. And not only that, I'm trying to move to an expensive area. And I'm also looking at some other stuff to improve the J360 content around here. Now, the number one thing about it is, is the screenplays. They're getting done. But when it comes to, like, camera work, and, of course, you know, maintaining what I have, you see, it's like a system, so you always want to make sure you got all your stuff in play. Yeah, I got a lot of work to do. And truth be told, it's coming together. I just have to really, really figure out, like, you know, the difference of it all. Like, if I don't get it at this point, I'll probably get it later on. Either way, I got to get the one with the disc, because I got plenty of discs around here. So, that's what it's going to be. I'm just going to have to look at it and be like, hmm. Some of y'all are going to have to be the patient zero for me while I just sit back and enjoy everything else. See what I'm saying? And, I, and I'm interested in seeing some of y'all reviews. Because um, as I started the Power Play series again, I realized that the um, wall of shame I got going on is built for all the consoles I have right now. And I have to... Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. I got quite a bit to take care of. <laughs> so, you know, one way or another, it was a retro gaming show when I started. It's a retro gaming show now. So, just go ahead and take care of it the way it needs to be taken care of. And it's a week worth of content this year. Well, not this year, this week. <laughs> Actually, I wouldn't be surprised if I started doing content all around like that. Why not? It'll be fun. But actually, there is another show premiering this week, so I'm going to be busy maintaining that, and that's going to be this Friday with uh, J360 Jams. So if you're a musician, you know, you want your um, music played on J360 Radio, send me an email, or, you know, call up the hotline, let me know you're interested, and then we can go ahead and work some things out. And whether the show's going to be explicit or not, let's just see how the prototype goes this Friday. Oh, and another thing, baseball has a chance of coming back for a limited 60-game season, and it's supposed to start up in July 23rd or July 24th, but the teams are all, the players and the administrators agreed on something, so they're going for spring training on July the 1st, so this will be all right, you know what I'm saying? And a few jobs opened up, so, (laughs) ah, more money. See, right now, folks. Well, I already got the love interest taken care of, and I already got, um, you know, where I want to be at figured out. Now it's all about the quest of running through that gambit, too, while still pursuing my own um, way of doing things. And you see, I'm going after the almighty dollar. Money, 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 money. Line in my pockets right now. You see, health is good. And my goals, pretty good. But also, we got to remember how to line them pockets, Chief. And needless to say, it's going pretty well with that one. I'm going to ignore all those other things and just handle it. (laughs) And, um, you know, some of y'all are rooting for me on that. And, you know, to be honest with you, I've noticed that quite a lot of collaborations need to be made for the Uncut Show. And remember what I said about J360 Jams? If you want to be in the Uncut Show, too, just let me know. Because uh, that's still being produced. Matter of fact, next episode is going to happen. Going to happen Sunday night at usually Sunday night at eight. Lauren, go ahead about that. So Eastern time, all right. Because let me tell you something, y'all in the Pacific time, I'm doing what I can to work with y'all. But you know, I'm three hours ahead, right? So it's like, yeah, we're gonna figure some things out with that one. <laughs> but man. I tell you, I just love coming on here and doing this show. Let's get you all ready for what's to come. And like, um, I just, what I don't really care for is like how these big businesses try to censor you, you know? And and, and the thing is, is that that's going to be a 10 yard fight. I, I can just see like every time I'm producing something, I'm going to always be fighting something like that. Does it bother me? No, because I don't mind pissing people off. But, does it get really annoying sometimes when you're not even in the mindset of pissing people off? Yeah, that's the only thing. But unless you're doing something right, because some people are listening and some people are like, you know, hey, 
this guy knows what he's talking about. Let's just stick with him. Let's let's see what happens next. And I'll be honest with you. It's going to be one hell of a reach. And it's going to be a fun trip. And then it's going to get kind of twisty here and there. Because that's usually how adventures go. But it pays off in the end. So stay motivated. And that should all of you. Because you know what? It all pays off in the end. But until then, though, this is the J-Man signing off. You all take it easy. I'll be back with the J-Man show later today because it's Wednesday. So um, peace out. Okay? Laters. When you download the Kroger app, you have easy access to savings every day. Get the most out of weekly sales and receive personalized coupons to save on your favorite items, all while earning one fuel point for every dollar spent. Kroger makes it easy to save while you shop, whether it's in-store or online, so you get the most value out of every trip, every time. Download the Kroger app now to save big on your next purchase. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Must have a digital account to redeem offers. Restrictions may apply. See site for details.